sound. All right, so what's up guys? I'm currently on my way to Wheels Across the Pond in Jupiter. It typically happens like around, I think, every year or so, like an annual thing. They have all of the cars from the UK, all of our friends across the pond, as the name suggests. So my dad, of course, his race car being British, he's bringing it. I'm gonna go meet him there. Um, they're giving out some trophies. Maybe he'll win something, I don't know. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go meet him, taking the 86, of course. Currently have, if you look on it, 1831 so I have 1831 miles on it my emissions warranty is at 50,000 so I'm in no rush but um, once that emissions warranty is up then I can finally start doing some stuff for the car but uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and meet him so uh, see you there in a quarter mile turn left onto 125th Avenue North So much fun, oh my god. Continue on Florida 706 E. One thing I'm also definitely noticing, I mean, because this is the first manual car that I've owned, the car that I was just driving before was a 2005 Mazda. What I really do notice most is in traffic, especially around, if you are South Florida based anyway, in Okeechobee, you'll know what I'm talking about. It can get really, really frustrating, but I mean, I have no right to complain since I'm, I don't live in California, obviously. I know people there that drive manual BMWs, like M2s and all that. I have no right to complain in Florida, honestly, but it can get pretty annoying. Clutch in, clutch out, neutral. You know, you have people in automatics that can't even figure out how to inch up properly. Like, the entire thing is just, it gets really frustrating after a while. But I mean, that's something you know going into buying a manual car, especially like this. See, this is what I'm talking about. Hear the honking? No one can figure out how to drive. I've been here for like 10 minutes trying to circle around and can't find anything. So uh, yeah, it should be interesting. I just got here. It took me 20 minutes to find a spot. They were, they were, I went up and down. We were seeing the same cars trying to find a spot. See the center. 
Yeah, I saw it. I saw the air patrol people. Did you talk to them? Yeah, a little bit. They told me they meet once a week or once a month, and you can get your license through them some way. Wait, really? Yeah. Is it hard? Yep. Do you, I don't know. It's like a polarizing. Some people say they like it. Some do, I like it personally. I like it more than the GT40. Four GT. Oh, the four GT. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a 2019. Dang. This is like new. And it has the, the roof scoop on it. See, this is what wing people put on the 86. The little 200 horsepower car. car. And then, <laughs> it's a 600 LT. This is the new one they came out with. It's just the 570S, which is there, except it's one inch longer, and then it has the wing, and the exhaust is on the top. Base price, I think it's around 318. There's a card on there that I used to own, the same color too, over at GT over the... There's an Opal over there? Yeah, it's oh, over right. the hill. It's the same color as mine used to be. In case you didn't even know, I'm not a huge fan of the Aston Martins in general, but the new Vantage actually, like, if I could afford a car like that, I probably wouldn't get the new Vantage. But I'm not a big Aston Martin fan. I know, like, the DB11, the Vanquish, but it doesn't really pique my interest. because typically around like 110, 110,000 starting for like a 2007. And I mean, I really like them and I think he would too. So who knows, maybe one day I'll be able to get them because he's always wanted a Ferrari, but the 488s, I would never be able to get one. So let alone like a Pista. So one day, one day. Here's my Agora, I think. Yeah, it's an Oh, there's a, what is this? A, I don't know what this is. I forget what these are. Oh. I think this is a roll. I would get an Avora. Avora an Avora would be like the realistic next car for me. I mean, I like the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. The Lotus is probably the most affordable. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video of Wheels Across the Pond in Jupiter, Florida. I actually got a little Civil Air Patrol uh, flyer because I am interested in joining, so I have that to look forward to. Lots of cool stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited to see the future of YouTube and where this takes me. I'm going to be uploading a lot more than I am right now. I'm sorry, just with school and all these commitments and with the Air Force and just everything is coming at me at once, so it's kind of hard to manage everything. Uh, I'm looking for a video editor. I just want to put this at the end. So if anyone is willing to edit my videos, I, I'm sorry to say this, but it'd have to be for free for right now, only because I can't really afford a lot because I'm in high school. But once my channel does start going, I am gonna be paying video editors. But if anyone's gracious enough to help me edit my videos, I'll shout you out, I'll plug you, I'll do anything. So I just wanted to put that out there. So uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Um, it was a lot of fun making it, a lot of fun. A lot of attention with the uh, Van Diemen, and it was funny because it got almost as much attention as the million dollar McLaren Senna. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.